Thanks for watching this video review on Garden of Life's organic plant protein. It's repping the grain free under it, so that's kind of what the uh, main push is for this product. Uh, so it's paleo friendly for those of you who are on the paleo diet. Uh, it also has less than one gram of sugar in a serving, so it's pretty much keto friendly. Uh, depends on how serious you are about the ketogenic diet and into that, but. Uh, it does have quite the protein blend with flax, pea, cranberry seed, moringa leaf, if I'm saying that properly, um, baobab, baobab fruit, which is some kind of tree, uh, and pumpkin seed. Uh, so it's got a pretty good spectrum of uh, different types of protein in it. Uh, it's also got Garden of Life's raw enzyme blend, as well as their raw probiotic blend, which has 1 billion CFU per serving. So that is also good if you're into um, getting a little extra dose of probiotics, as well as for uh, athletic recovery, say if you're an endurance athlete or um, lifting weights and things like that. Uh, it has five different flavors. Uh, this packet here is the Smooth Vanilla. Uh, and this one I found to be pretty good. It's got kind of um, a light, nutty flavor to it. And um, the vanilla is really well-rounded. Uh, so I, I really like this one. It was pretty tasty. Um, I've also had a lot of the other flavors. I just don't have the, uh, the products with me right now. But they had a Smooth Coffee, which has the organic Marley coffee brand infused in it. That one I found to be slightly a little bit more on the chalky side. I uh, wasn't quite a fan, uh, but it does have caffeine in, in it, so if you're into that, that's a bonus. Uh, they also got the Smooth Energy, which I thought was one of the better tasting flavors. The Smooth Energy um, kind of had hints of graham cracker and kind of like a maple syrup but without like the intense sweetness of a maple syrup. Uh, so I thought that one was pretty tasty. Probably, probably the best out of all five if I had to pick one. Um, and they have a smooth unflavored, um, which wasn't my favorite unflavored version um, compared to all the other more natural or unflavored type of protein flavors out there. Uh, it just, it, it kind of had like a, a strange soupy texture to it, so I wasn't really a fan um, as much. And uh, lastly, there was the smooth chocolate, which was pretty good. That one has more of um, kind of a robust dark chocolate flavor profile, uh, so that one's definitely a winner. So um, this product comes in a little packet. It's like nine nine point four ounces, so it's not like a tub like most other products. It's kind of a fancy pants brand or um, product model, if you will, because it's it's expensive. I mean, it's eighteen fifty for a little nine ounce packet. Um, we've kind of came up with this little formula that calculates the price per twenty five grams, and you're looking at like three was it three dollars and eight cents per twenty five grams if you buy that um, that pouch. So it's it's not affordable by any means. There's definitely a lot out there that's more affordable. Um, Garden of Life actually just came out with a sport organic plant-based protein powder. Uh, that one is more affordable. It tastes good. It's got um, a lot a lot stronger amino acid profile. So look into that. We did a video on that too. So um, overall it's a good product though. I mean it tastes good. It's got good quality ingredients, um, just the price is a little bit high. Uh, but that's about it. Thanks for watching and more videos to come.